Hello, my Libras. Welcome back to my channel. All right, so it's time to peek into you, see how you're doing. It is a general reading, though, guys, just like always, so please take what resonates. It's, it's, oh, oh, it's not that serious. <laughs> if you would like to book a personal reading with me, link to my website is in the description box below. Okay, so <clears throat> when I was focusing on you in the pre-shuffle, I'm feeling like there, there's something in your life that's unfinished. And I was hearing there's something that you need to bring, you may need to bring peace to. Like it, it's still hanging in, I want to say midair. It's like there's, there's no closure to it. There's been, but there's a need to make peace. Whether that's with another person or just with yourself, I don't know. I mean, you'll know because this thing feels like it's just hanging. It's not, it's very obviously not finished. Something is unfinished and, and you must finish it or bring peace to it. Okay. Um, I am also getting A romantic gesture, some sort of gesture from the masculine. So whoever is the masculine in this situation, uh, I'm getting a wanting to heal, heal or work on or just make things a little bit better, more peaceful. I, I don't know. I'm just feeling very much so that the masculine is going to make a gesture. And... The gesture is sexually motivated. There's sexual, I'm getting a lot of sexual energy. I feel as if, you know, kind of feels like someone you've been with before, Libra. I mean, whoever's, because uh, I'm getting like thinking about a sexual experience. It being very much on someone's mind. Could go both ways, but specifically the masculine. That is why he will make some sort of gesture. So I don't know, you know. They won't be able to resist any longer. Okay, so Libra, if you're feminine, look out for this. If you're the masculine, then you are about to make it make a move. And and uh, -uh. don't don't tell me no. Don't tell me no. You, there's going to be something that happens. You're going to, that kind of either wakes you up or enlightens, enlightens this masculine besides the sexual draw. Okay. Anyway, moving on. I am also getting, um, spirit is going to give you a, a, a job opportunity that could bring more stability to you. There's something about like, and for some of you, this could be something that you think of often, but I feel as if there hasn't been a lot of movement, but there's potential here. And Spirit's going to kind of nudge you in this direction. Some of you may be right now there could be a water sign water or earth potentially i'm leaning they, they have water placements somewhere though for sure because i am getting heavy water feelings <laughs> cancer pisces scorpio um or you know taurus virgo capricorn but again whatever um I'm getting that like there's some sort of disappointment regarding this water sign. You could be kind of focusing on them or thinking about them a lot. This is coming up. There's concern here over this person. And I feel as if they're pretty disappointed. And um, I don't know. I'm just getting this person being sort of a focus for you in the upcoming four weeks. For some reason, whoever they are to you, there could be another energy that is surrounding this person. 
I'm just getting kind of like somebody like there around. This could be a factor as to why there's disappointment. For those of you, it'll be. But yeah, I'm, I'm just getting like, okay, there's that person again. Or there's, yeah. They could be an earth sign. The person around this individual or around you. But it, well, whoever they are, they cause disappointment. Their presence does for some reason. Okay, so let's see. All right, first let's get an overall message. Sorry, that was a long tangent. But I am, I'm getting a lot of, I was getting a lot of stuff for you. An overall message. Could get a chunk of money. Universe, message for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What message do you have for the Libra? Overall message. Okay, well, that's a lot here. Okay, I gotta put it back. It's too many. Some of you may, there could be some like paperwork trouble or legal trouble. It might be more heartache than it's worth is, is what they're kind of saying. Message for the Libra. Thank you, much more to the point. All right. Um, there's something that you're attached to that you need to let go of. They want you to slow down, they want you to rest, and uh, really kind of figure out why you're attached to this. Reflect on this. Uh, could, it could be something from the past that's like ended, that is no longer, it caused a lot of like chaos for you emotionally. I feel like you need to heal from it. And it's like, yeah, they just want you to like let go of that uh, or like work on resting it. You know what I mean? Putting it down and resting it. And uh, the overall message is strategy. So this is a time for you to do a lot of planning and things that you want to put effort into. A lot of you, you know, writing things down. Some of you writing could be significant specifically, but I'm getting making notes, writing down, writing letters. Uh, paperwork, all of that is very relevant to you right now. Pay attention to it, put focus into it, put effort, make a plan. There is something in your life that you're planning and that they're encouraging you to keep doing this. And also they're saying that if you want it to happen, you have to put it, you have to make the plan. They're very much encouraging you to figure something out. How do I work this out? What's the key? Because there's something maybe that you haven't figured out previously. I think this is something specific that they're like pushing you to um, because it's very key. It's a key thing in your life. It's going to open a new door. But you, you know, this isn't something new. It's like they're, they're, they're kind of, I feel like they're kind of pushing at you, Libra, to tell you to kind of like get it together here. Get this going. What are you waiting for? I don't know why we're so excited, but that's what they're saying. Make a plan. And again, writing things down, writing, very important for you right now. Whether that's therapeutic business, you need to say something to somebody, I don't know, but you need to write it down. Let's do it, Libra. <laughs> Okay, so universe, please show me what's going on and coming up for the Libra. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. It's coming up for the Libra. Now, there could be somebody that's coming at you very serious like that because my energy was so intense. So that, that, that something could be going on there. Um, I'm getting intensity around you. I think they're telling you to make a plan because you're dealing, you're going to be dealing with people that are very serious. I mean, somebody's not messing around that's coming into your energy. And if you are, it's, you know, not good. Not a good game plan is, is what they're kind of saying. Mm, yeah, they really want to want you to step up, Libra. Your energy could be feeling more dominant. You, you could be 
more decisive as well. What's coming up for the Libra, please? Give me clear messages. All right, what are we doing here? Uh, first off, okay, so you might be feeling there's a part of you that's like a little bit stuck. You can't move on. There, there's, there's some sort of love or emotional thing that has captured your attention that you can't move on. You can't see it clearly because you're so in love with this, whatever this is. You know, a lot of you, this is romantic. And if not, you're going to meet a new person. And they're going to, I mean, this is just, it's going to get you all hung up and stuck for some reason. Um, and then the death card, you know, meeting, you're going to meet a, a new person in your life that sparks a lot of change for the, for your better good, for your growth. Now, um, But I do feel you very stuck on someone because you can't, you don't have clarity on it, but they're always on your mind or they will be because this is what's coming up. So if it doesn't resonate, we'll just hold your horses. Okay. But, um, so, uh, hangman, ace of cups, like I was saying, water energy, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, specifically Pisces here, death card. We have Scorpio. The Empress, your energy as well as Taurus. But you know what's interesting? I'm getting like a resisting love here. The Strength and the Two of Cups. I, I feel as if somebody may resist the Empress. Somebody may be trying to resist you. But oh, do they want you. This is not specifically a love reading, but you're emotionally hung up on something. But, you know, your energy feels good, though, with the Empress. You are taking on this strong. So if it is, you're not showing it. Mm -hmm. Good time to delegate business strategies as well. See, with the Devil card at the bottom of the deck and the Nine of Wands. You're so drawn to something, but you're extremely alarmed and defensive of it at the same time. Or you will be. This is very tempting to you. Whatever this is. If it's a human, a substance, a, a, a show, um, um, a habit. But it feels like a human, to be quite honest. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm picking up a masculine that kisses on the cheek. Interesting. All right. So let me actually, um, for those of you that have had some sort of emotional block on, on what to do, they're saying that, um, you know, in regards to your life and things like that, There, there could be an idea that comes to you in the next few weeks that could really kind of stimulate a lot of growth for, for you, okay? I clarify this Ace of Cups for the Libra. One more. For the, yeah, okay. So I would love to say we're not talking about love, but we so are. Okay. In certain ways, there's other elements coming up, but you're very stuck on love or somebody is stuck on you okay so this is going to be super the hierophant the six of wands um whatever this is that you're going to commit to there's a lot of success here if you're going to make a, a commitment to a company or a job or a relationship there's a lot of success and i want to say that this company or whatever this hierophant is whoever this hierophant is they have good reviews. It's it's good. This is a good, solid business. This is a good, solid, you know, there's success here with whatever this is. So a lot of you, that could be work. Some of you, it's a, it's a person. Some, it's some sort of connection that you need to make. The lover's card. You 
yeah, there's, there's, could be kind of a nice romantic turnaround coming up too. For those of you that are in the romance field, because I keep going back and back to love, even though I, I just, you know, so that's how it could be this, per, you know, it's like it, something's just on your mind and on your mind because I keep just going back and going back. <laughs> All right, and then um, kissing. For those of you that, you know, I'm getting feminine, masculine. The masculine is going to kiss the feminine. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Someone is going to be kissed. All right, I will end it with that. Goodbye, my Libras.